folks. Moving on to game numero trois. You like how I did that? I mixed some languages there. I don't know what language that could be. Tidus Gaming spawning up in Atrium as the aliens, all five skulks, rushing straight out the uh, eastern exit together. Pretty interesting to see them all go together. Gorge is going for the gorge, okay. Um, and Ryo's the commander from the Marines, building an armory. So, something we don't usually see is an armory. Nice early kill from Golden, rushing mm -hmm. straight over crossroads and clearing King Yo. That's going to really slow snails down, because <laughs> uh, I don't think you usually expect to see a Marine go down that early, that quickly, and without doing any damage. King Yo must have got outplayed. Golden waiting for Ray over here. Not really sure where he is. Sicknick right there on the approach. Ray going down quickly. Wolf coming around the corner. Can Golden get to him before the pistol comes out? No. It looks like we have got a Ross <coughs> to switch up. It looks like we've now got Wolf instead of Eagle Eye. Um, and already, <laughs> Snails are looking a little bit weaker. <laughs> not, I, suspe I suspect it's independent because it's been a couple of the other players not quite uh, with their usual form, but it looks like Titus are going a little bit better on kills. In fact, only losing one Skulk Heracles, trying to sneak up on two Skulks, and King Yo trying to pinch them in Pipe Junction, but King Yo has sh shot his load a little bit early there. and Looks like it's alright though. Sicknick taking down Heracles, King Yo taking down Sicknick. They've got their, kind of their barricade going on. Look at this, taking a page out of Snails. I haven't seen Versal do this in a while uh, on Summit with the Crag Whip barricade up in Reactor. And now the second tunnel's up out of Crevice. But Ray is right here. Gorge is going to go right back into the tunnel, I think. He needs to not die here. Good job. Signic takes him very swiftly. Not a problem. Cleans him up. Now the rest of the Skulk can just move on. Find something to do. Comp have a little bit of damage there, but Heracles defends it. It's actually 50% damage. That's really good. Uh, I suspect when he respawns, Golden will go straight back for that and finish it off. Heracles now parasited, trying to push into flight control. And Snails have just about got their uh, fourth extractor up. Fifth in crossroads attempted, but they know that's there. Um, it's looking alright for uh, Titus. Playing a little bit slow paced, a little bit defensively. But I, th I think they can take another extractor out and get their third harvester up. So. They've gone it's for the early it's mines. Arm. They've dropped the arms lab, but it's not built. So, you know, weapons one or armor one is still a little ways away here. Nice big push up through glass hallway, though, with three skulks and the gorge. They're going to push right in. I like that play. But look at this. King Yo going through the vent, now making his way up an atrium all alone. He's trying to find the lurks, uh, I tell you that now. He will not get spotted by Sicknick. That's Splinter Cell style gameplay. I can't believe it. Joshy trying to take on Ray, who's again soloing into crevice. Oh my god. Taken out. Oh He's my it. god. Done it. Oh my god. King Yo coming around the corner. Sicknick gone. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, well played. Well played, sir. Oh, and that is a huge loss. I'm so impressed. We Ooh, rarely see that. Wow. Succeed. And he played that perfectly. Yeah, I mean, just taking that that wait. I mean, just waiting and waiting and waiting. Now they're going to get the whip out here in Crevice. No, it survives. The 2% gets healed up by Gorgeous. Still holding three harvesters. They have to get through on the res now, though. They took out Computer Lab. I don't think they ever actually got Data Core up. And now Dam's waiting in the vent as well. Has Golden gone lurk? <laughs> yes, he has, with a mist. <laughs> yes. So they got one lurk now. They've already invested in another lurk, and they've invested in a gorge as well, which means they're set up for probably a two-fade with the lurk-gorge combo. They'll obviously have to wait till that fade comes up, but it won't be too late. They've got the three harvesters secured. Snails haven't been very rich this game. You can see they've got the... Uh, Three, three extractors have been lost so far, so it's, it's pretty good from Titus Gaming so far. The cost of the Lurk will, uh, will really cost them. Yeah, they just lost like that idiot, tunnel, though, so the Lurk's not going to be able to nice. get back here right away. But the Crag's here, so it's not like they're going to be able to do a ton of damage in this room. And the Gorge is still alive. That he could drop that again. Gorge is having 11 res in the bank. That won't be a problem. Yeah, and they pulled back straight away as soon as they killed that tunnel. I mean, they knew that the, the Lurks would respond. They pulled back. Good positioning. Taking up one Skulk in the northern entrance, holding the southern entrance with just King Yo, but Rantology is up top. She could drop down and take him. Mine takes out Sicknick. This is looking good for the Marines. And I suspect now that the Skulks have been taken out, 
They'll push back into Reactor Core and it'll be a lot easier this time, and Crevice is receiving harassment as well. Really well played by Snails to fall back like that, take an easier room, clean up the aliens, and then push in on the other side. Really well done. Uh, whips are just really so ineffective in some situations, and this is a... Uh, it looks like we had a little bit of pressure down on the arms lab down in Marine Start. But, uh, you know, the aliens right now, they, they've got to be really careful. They're holding the three res nodes. This is the strategy. Hold the three. But at the same time, you've got to be getting through on the other res. And taking down only one or two res nodes is not doing it for you. Gorgeous with his lurk, Golden. Golden's not getting healed by the, uh, the Gorge, which is unfortunate. He's diving in on top of dams. Does a pretty good amount of damage, but now he's having to retreat because he's got no health. But nice one from the Skulls to clean it up. They've still got the three harvesters. Excellent job. The Crag and the Whip doing their job, distracting, slowing the Marines down. And they keep the harvesters up as long as possible. They're still mature. They're still taking in personal resources. And Fades are still right on track. It's, it's really good to see that. Weapons 1, Armor 1, Shotguns. And how many shotguns do we have? Only one. So, well, they're Lurk building. Ray and, do a decent amount. Yeah, Ray and Heracles are building over here in flight control because they know that uh, they need to get those shotguns out. So it's probably like a build an armory only to get rid of the armory. And now they've taken both those guys down. King Yo forced to come up from Summit Reception. <clears throat> I apologize. My throat is going a little raw. Look at this tunnel. I love it. They're going for the four harvesters. Tunnel in there with a whip and a crag probably. The crag is even moving. And they're going to try the four harvesters. It's going to be tough. Wolves coming in. Much Josh stronger to position. Try and hold them off. Yeah, I think holding data core is much stronger for them. And it's a good point in the game to hold data core. Weapons one, armor one up, shotguns are up. Yeah, and this is a great time for the aliens to start worrying about that fourth harvester, fourth harvester <laughs> because the snails are up to five extractors and they're going aggressive onto some of those harvesters. In fact, right now you see King Yo and Ray just waiting for an opening up in crevice. They don't want to push yet. They want to wait for a good opportunity. And so do Wolf and Dams. Josh, you're getting such a great parasite on Wolf there. They know that there is a... Uh... They know that there's a shade here. Golden coming around the corner. Heracles and Wolf and Dams. All right here. The Gorgeous has got to be careful. Joshy waiting for the right moment to jump in. Can he get the kill on Wolf? Down goes the shotgun. Great kill by Joshy. Getting a couple bites in on Dams as Heracles comes around the corner. And Gorgeous is going to go down. Kaplow. Poor little Gorgy. And Golden cannot afford to die here. He needs to get out. Yes, he needs to remain alive for a little bit longer whilst these fades can evolve because the evolve time is a very vulnerable state for the aliens. The p -res is almost ticked over. This is the time to evolve. Ray and King Yo pushing that harvester. Now they're still only on three harvesters, but Snails are only on four extractors. Very balanced gameplay right now. Weapons 2 is coming up just with the fades as well. Again, highly balanced. This is exactly the snail mate both teams want. Uh, neither team is ahead. Yeah, this is great. This is exactly what needed to happen. They've, they've, the Marines are taking down Crevice, but it doesn't matter. They've got the third extractor up in Data Core. They can grab Crevice again if they want to. But now that these fades are out, the fades need to play very effectively in how they take on these Marines. They cannot afford to lose a fade right now. And they've also got to keep Sicknick and Gorgeous out on these extractors as much as they can. Yeah, Gorgeous doing a good job. I think Rantology was helping as well when she was on that Skulk. Now she's on a fade. Uh, so they will have to recover from that a bit. The rest harassment is so vital right now. So extremely important, especially with Crevice coming up. Wolf's trying to defend flight control. It's down to 50%. Gorgeous knows he's there. And he's trying to play evasively against the Parasite. Knew it. He went straight across. Wow, the beacon. Awesome. That awesome. was probably the best move they could have done. Man, now that gives them... Oh, yeah, but now you got Crevice open to the aliens. You give them the opportunity to come in here to Crossroads and actually knock the power out. Now, they're going to go four on strong here to Data Core, which I think is a good move for the Marines. And the aliens are not really in a great position to defend this. Wow, they need to take the extractors out and hold this push off. And if they let the Marines push in, it's going to be tough to stop them. This is a great corridor to fight them. The Marines are kind of trapped in that little section. Trying to come uphill. Looks like they're trying to get inside the room. Got some good line of sight cover. All oh! the Marines are low. That goes down. Joshi and Rantology doing really good work. Rantology playing extremely well there. Just slicing that Marine up and leaving. Very well played by her, uh, but they have to retreat, and Data Core is now in Marine hands. Yeah. Race is going down, though. You know, the shade in here, though, the crag's still here. That gives them some time to come back after those fades heal and possibly still save pretty much everything uh, that's of vital importance in this room. 
Uh, you've got uh, Gorgeous going around right now. They did get the power back up in Crossroads. So that's that's good on them. Sicknick kicks down King Yo. <laughs> another shotgun down. Amazing. And Dams is going to get cleaned up. So that's Sicknick another three that. shotguns. It was the Skulk on top of two Marines with shotguns, and they couldn't kill him. He took them both out. Wolf is looking for a shotgun pick up on a fade, but they're not low, so he's just going to lose his shotgun if he gets spotted. I'm not really sure what his plan is right now, but it's he's hoping for something big, and I don't see it happening. they got to get on this res. They cannot afford to let the Marines keep teching up now weapons to armor one. Again, four push to data core. They lose Gorgeous early, which is going to cost them. They need the Skulks to be recklessly bite these Marines, whilst the Fades distract the Lurk is there. And they try and push the Lurk out. Heracles overextends a little bit. He's very low, but he's getting med packs, and the aliens are forced to retreat. Yeah, they're chasing him. They know they've got to push him completely out of the room if they hope of doing anything here. Base push is called. I mean, the Marines are out of position. Absolutely, Sick they're, they're way out. Decent damage. Way out. Sicknick, Rantology, nice. forcing the beacon. No damage by the Marines again. What oh. a great call. Snails are making errors here. That beacon was a little bit early, and there was no plan there for the for the alien base push, which is the second time they've done it now. Fool me once, shame on, on me, as Bush would say. Like, they are making <laughs> Fool mistakes me twice? right now. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now here's the nice thing about what's going on here is... They're still holding all this res. They're in a good position to keep moving up the chart there. Sicknick is now lurking. He got enough res to do that. Golden has enough to go again. I suspect they're going to have Golden and Sicknick swap off, though. And these guys are moving straight up to Atrium. It's a three push into the hive. Are they going right for the kill? They're going for the upgrades. And down comes the bone wall. Instantly killed. Versal coming in, trying to get the kill. In come the fades. Down goes one shell. Down goes two. Down goes the third shell. And they beat him, him out. Kill him. Oh, oh yes. they get him? I think they got him. I think so. No, they didn't get him. They How didn't get him. How many shotguns did they? Only two shotguns left They only took down two shells. guys there. Yeah. Wow. This is a tough one. That was a really good play from Snails. They took out the three shells. Now aliens are running about with a low amount of money. They've replaced a couple of those shells, but they don't actually have them in place just now. They've spent the upgrade, but it's not in place. <coughs> Marines, again, they're running out of shotguns a little bit. It's not too bad. It's, it's all right. But um, that could be a real cost for snails if they lose a lot more shotguns than this. And I think that's why they're investing in so many beacons, because uh, they really can't afford to lose shotguns, and they can't afford to lose their base either. Uh, aliens playing defensive, trying to keep the harvesters up. Marines aren't really punishing crevice too much. You can see it's going back up now, and crossroads is going up. But there's no phase gate there in crossroads yet which I think would help push Crevice a lot more. A lot of rifles uh, going on. Harassment. You know, if they could clear these Marines right now, they've only got enough to buy one more shotgun, and that could be the tipping point they've been waiting for to really amp the aggression up on them. Ray taking a lot of hits from Rantology. She retreats because of low energy. Oh, man, they just... Ah. Pericles does exactly what you should be doing, pushing Crevice alone. It's pretty much undefended. Drifted down. Harvester is vulnerable. Uh, gorgeous again doing what he's supposed to be doing, hitting the res. Wolf is forced to defend, and really good engagement over in ventilation for the Ooh, aliens. Rants. Almost taking out Rantology. But she's doing really, really well. She's doing really good damage. She's retreating at the perfect moment every time. Uh, that was pretty much the riskiest time we've seen her. Previous to that, she's been doing very, very well. We do have uh, Infestation doing damage. No Skulks working on the res nodes. Come on, guys. You have to be countering while the attack is happening. You got three guys over here, two guys up in the north. This is a perfect opportunity for a Skulk to sneak through and do some damage. Datacore has claimed. We've seen it previously. The Marines have pushed into Datacore, cleared it of aliens. Wasn't too costly the previous time. Speaking They're going to lose this crag. Wow. Oh, and that's unfortunate. They overextend for it a little bit. Kingo gets separated. <clears throat> Ray and Dams are now reloading. And they're cleaning them up. And two Skulks going straight for the base. And the fade as well. Perfect call. Don't worry about the engagement. Force the beacon. Perfect. And they may kill it. Yep, they killed it. I don't know if that's good or bad, but there's no beacon. No, they killed it. And two Marines left up in the north all alone. Joshy here. Skulk's dead. Mine's popped. That's a good, good sign right now. Ray and Dams 
bursting into Data Core. Joshi taking a significant amount of damage. Really needs to get out of this room. Not the wise move, Joshi. Sorry, but that that's just don't keep going towards them. They can't lose this hive. Nice! Oh, she's playing so well! Mucus. She takes out Wolf with just three swipes. Mucus! Oh my gosh! Mucus! She took them both. Mucus the hive! So now they lose that hive. Three harvesters up. They have to deny the extractors or the P reds will go up. They'll replace the shotguns they just lost. Marines are putting so much investment in these pushes. It's, it's the P reds, the shotguns. They're losing a lot of them. And the only way the Marines will stay in this is if they can keep those six extractors pumping up heroes. Nice engagement by the aliens. Back of the room here, they're right on top of the Marines. They've cleaned them up. They're going to replace the infestation and probably push on. You got Wolf just waiting. Wolf could get Joshi. Joshi's going to get out of there. Taking down the extractor right away. Some pressure and flight control down to 60. They need to take Crossroads. That's a great place for them to have right now. It's going to hopefully pull one of these two Marines back. And nope, they say they're going straight for Summit Reception and out to Crevice. So they would rather lose the Extractor than give them another Harvester. They're even considering replacing it with their own Extractor, but it's going to be tough. You've got Golden coming through the vent. A little bit predictable. We've got Fade from the North. Signic as well, long range with the Spikes. Heracles overextending for the... Uh, the Joshi! Oh, Joshi! Good damage by those marines to so clear those aliens up. That was really important. Uh, Detical harvester has gone down. Crevice has gone down. Crossroads is building. Could be a good one to build actually. Reactor core is still alive, so we could be seeing three officers for Titus if they take crossroads. And Crevice is looking good for the aliens. Nice engagement. Double fade. Joshi goes extremely low. He's in a bit of trouble. Uh, just they just through they the got right time. on Rantology. Wow! How did she get out of there? And Golden gets the cleanup. Ignoring the extractor as it's not even built. Gorgeous getting straight onto flight control. Has more than enough time to take it down. And the only other extractor out there is Computer Lab. But the Marines are moving up in reactor core. Dams and Ray doing some damage. One shotgun. Down goes the shotgun. Ray getting quickly swiped up by the other two fades there. And they save the harvester as well as getting uh, data core back really out of this. A really great engagement. Aliens have been winning so many engagements right now. Wow, another cleanup down in ventilation. Marines are going to run out of extractors soon. They're already down to three. They still haven't got their weapons uh, three yet. And the Fades are doing such a great job of cleaning up these Marines. They're building p as well. 25 spare p on your Fades is really nice. It's really safe. As the game drags on, they'll be getting up to the 35 p so that even if they lose those Fades, they'll be able to refade almost immediately. It's just looking really good. They're up to almost five Harvesters, potentially. And you can see with the map control, the way the aliens are moving right now, the fact they're getting kills, the positioning, they're probably going to hold most of those Harvesters that they're, they're attempting. And this is a great position for Titus, and I, I think this is what we need to be seeing for them to win. I think this is a win for Titus. They've just got to make sure they keep cleaning up the Marines a little bit, stay on top of some of the rest harassment. Comp Lab's a really good target to sneak through to, and don't let them push up into Data Core like this. Yeah, Dam's trying to get the backside of the fades here, which I think was the right play. You know, it's just unfortunate when you've got a rifle and not a shotgun, oh, and you're not on weapons three, that's going to make it tough. The armor two definitely helping in these situations, but now these guys, again, they're in the position where they're down to one shotgun each this is amazing titus coordination in combat is so phenomenal the fades are playing impeccably well i mean absolutely precise accuracy retreating at the exact right moments the, the sicknick as well on that lurk coming in from behind with the silent swoop biting triple bite there clearing one of the marines instantly without him able to re respond Really well played from Titus and Snell's complete opposite. Complete opposite. They're not coordinated right now. They're a little bit haphazard. They've all got rifles. They're a little bit caught out in this one. I think they're starting to see this as a loss. And uh, I, I'm not sure they're seeing a recovery here. Well, never underestimate those snails. Computer lab still open. Was healed up. Rantology coming after dams here on the crossroads plank way. And Wolf uh, working on Sis here in flight control, getting flight control back up. And Marines are still on four extractors. Oh my god, they no! trapped Joshi. <laughs> Such a mistake. Oh no!
And that's unfortunate. It's that timing is everything with that bone wall. <laughs> Do you know what I was thinking at the exact moment before that happened? I was thinking usually it's Versal that carries Titus, but today it's the face. <laughs> and then he does that, and it's like, oh my god. Uh, it happens. It happens. We're gonna blame it on Mumble Lag. He, oh wow, Data Core is dropped. That's a uh, risky business. At least Titus is still strong in this one. Five Harvest is still going. Data core is a good attempt. There's no drift on it. There is a drift on it. And it's going to take some wild build. Uh, no gorge. Oh! A gorgeous Onos! Yeah. I can't see that. Yeah, he had enough res just uh, about a minute ago to do that. And they're in a position where they can kind of fight this. But, you know, he really wants that second hive now. Okay, he wants the Umbra. You know he wants the Umbra. We've and still got the four harvesters up. Crevice Josh, is being denied by Wolf. Josh, he had enough. Oh, Retology getting kind of stuck on the box there. Goes down. Signy oh goes down. Oh, my God. He just cleared them both alone. For fuck's sake. The Retology and Sicknick both have enough to go their evolutions again. So this is yes. far from over. And sitting on, well, now two harvesters. Man, what a tit oh. for tat here. Double Onos, double fade, single luck. Second hive's coming up. It's looking really good for Titus. They've got it's to take this straight down. I mean, this is kind of one of those moments where you're, you really can't just wait. You've got to just take it. So they've got a couple of options. They could just go one mass crush into the base or somewhere. Or they could do a split. Like, they've got two Onos, two Fade. They could do a one Onos, one Aid. No, uh, they're going to go straight combo. to main. Deny yeah. the mines? Clean the ops? They're, they're, they're already going. Golden's kind of here to, to watch the phase nice. gate. The beacon comes off. They pull back. Oh, but everybody can come through there. Joshy going down right away down south. I'm not even watching that because I want to see what happens here next to the Onos. In through they come. The shotgun's doing some damage to Golden. Golden's going to go down. And they invest in that fight and five Marines poured through. I, oh. oh. Gorgeous Sicknick maybe should have invested into the Marine base because they could have crushed both sides of those phase gates and made it impossible, but... The Marines right now, after that, they're going to be feeling pretty strong. Fade down, Onos down. You've still got those two Skulls now, so I suppose that'll help. And the, the second Hive may be coming up pretty strong. Uh, that's really going to hurt Titus, though. Yeah, Joshi losing that second Fade is definitely not going to be a good situation. Gorge is definitely extending into this when he has to. And the Hive has to get finished. They really, really, really need that Umbra. Gorge is uh, collecting his upgrade now. So funny, like he didn't even do any damage on that phase gate when he was in here goring it. Snell's going to be recovering with some extractors. You'll see, actually, Copland may go down, but I suspect they'll send people to rebuild it. Flight control attempted, which is a mistake, because they're going to be in that room within 10 seconds. Uh, a lot of harvest is being built by Titus, which is nice, a nice idea. It's, it's really good because it's in ventilation. That'll probably succeed. And they could easily get up to one, two, three, four, five harvesters, maybe. I don't think flight control will stay up for long. Um, but uh, ventilation's a good choice. I don't think flight control stay up for long either, but you might as well build it, because if you're able to reconnect it before it dies, it's just that much more uh, of an asset to you. Ono's coming down to main. Ob's at 53%. Scan goes off. Ob's is going to go down. And nobody's near the phase gate. Commander out of the chair. And now they're on the phase gate with Rantology ready to attack. Wolf coming back from the side. Dam's coming through the gate. Wolf coming in, trying to do damage. Rantology is just dealing it back at him. Gorgeous has got to be really careful. But down one, down two. Oh and God. that is game, I think. Here comes Not necessarily. Golden. Dam's yeah. comes out. He needs to do damage to the fade. They got regen, though. Oh. That was incredible. The wow. way they just pounded those Marines. Perfect accuracy. That's game. That's totally game. They're all here now, and you got the Skulk, and you got the Mixed Mucus. Membrane. Wow. Well played. And it looks like Titus is not going to go down easy tonight, folks, because it's now 2-1 to one on Summit.